What's up machine freaks? Welcome back to another 3D Machines production. As you guys know, yesterday we bought some supplies for a, a bench. My girlfriend wants to build a bench for her table. Two benches. Two benches for her table. Now we're gonna get to building the benches today, which I'm really excited about because uh, we've never built anything before. So it's gonna be very, very fun. Not because, together and you. Yeah, I wanna see, I wanna see how this really goes. This will, this will test our compatibility, babe. Are you excited for that? I'm a little anxious. <laughs> <laughs> She's already stressing out. She's already yelled at me like two or three times. No, you, you used the F word on me and you yeah. called me an A. <laughs> you got nothing to say about that. I you know can't lie. Thing? We're going to teach you how to rig the picture today. I know how to. It's just some of the inches. Oh, this one's easy. This one's easy. It's only got 16ths and 8ths. Yeah. Where a lot of them have like 64ths and See, I don't crazy know stuff like that in 30 seconds. We don't need that. I'm not that precise. We don't need that kind of precision. So we're not building engines here, we're building benches. So let's start with this. We'll start with a 2x6. And um, this is our tool we're going to be using. This is brand new. It is. You just open it out of the box. Sweet. So we're going to be able to break this. I mean, use this today, which is really good. We got three boards ripped. We got the rounded edges off. I think we should just stop at three right now because you know if we rip rip them and don't use them, then we can't really take them back. So we'll just rip three for now, and we'll rip like three or four two by fours too. America. We did some math. We found out exactly how we want to cut this. So I'm making two cuts. We're gonna make four total 32 and a halfs to give us two bench seat tops. The tap where we're gonna sit. Can we use this? I suppose. Don't you have a little one you brought? This will probably be quicker. I'm used to working with metal, not wood, but I saw all this all this same equipment when I was growing up when my dad was building our house, so yeah, this will work good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna cut this one and we're gonna just use that as a copy and paste tool. Okay. Control Z, yeah. control V. Right. Control Z is backwards. That's oh, control, control C, control V. Yes. And then I'll let you do some cuts and get your experience in. Get my feet wet? Yeah. As they say. Hopefully not wet with blood, but uh... <laughs> do you want some eyeglasses? I have some in my truck. Right in the glove, or the, right in the center console thing. Well, those looking fine today. There it is. It's hard one handed, babe. Yep. Yeah, really good. That'll work for. <laughs> it was gonna uh, be cute. Right, so so one on, thing that on. I'm going to teach Just you, okay? You you measure twice, cut twice. What? There you go. That's what I want. It still didn't fit right. <laughs> measure once, cut twice. Okay, that's that's always the motto. That way we were copying and pasting. What's that? I thought we were copying and pasting. Well, we are. All right, you ready? It's gonna get loud. You want to wear ear protection? You stole my. Really. You stole my ear protection. I'm sorry. Those are mine. Well, those ones you get to rock out with. Yeah, so there's our copy tool. Dang it. That would have been really nice if we could get 332s out of that. Math says no. Hey, Dad. How's it going? I feel just like my dad. My dad had the same setup. Shorts, flip-flops, miter saw, a DeWalt miter saw. I feel just like him. Look at that. We ripped a whole board down and had this for leftover. That's pretty good. So he did a bunch of measuring while I supervised. And I like to say, it's starting to look like a bench. Here we got our little decorative piece. We're gonna have a plank across the bottom for storage. It's gonna look pretty, pretty cool and it's done. We got one more to go. And over here he's measuring And it's over. tall and skinny just like me. So it looks a little awkward now. Because it's, it's just real tall and skinny like me, but uh, the table isn't that wide and uh, we want it comfortable for me. And me. Kind of, you know, because the way that table sits is she can put her feet up and then I can put my feet down. So that way it's, you know, we both, it both comforts both of us. So the weather has become surmountably colder since we started our little shenanigan over here. But uh, we're working on this Craig jig. Yeah, we got it all situated. Um, I don't know where the packaging went. I really want the packaging because- Oh, I threw it out. I think it's over there in this garbage can. We're gonna need that. Sorry, babe. Nice shirt, babe. Thank you. I like that. You made it. I know. <laughs> Here's the jig. I read the instructions. 
This should put the holes that we need to right in the places we need them. So this is our first now, time. Now wait a minute. This is our first time jigging. Really? Let's do another one, babe. That's kind of exciting. Uh, it was really fast. Yeah, see I'm used to working with metal and everything's real time consuming. This is like. Here we go. It's like. Done. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you always say that with your surprise. <laughs> no way, no way. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, I like to get excited. I know you do. Last screw on bench number one. Flip her over The reveal. And uh, my girlfriend did sand the, the top of it. She's got to sand the rest of it now, but. <sighs> Put your feet on underneath here. It ain't going nowhere. That's great. That's awesome. The best. Good job. Good job, baby. <laughs> Look yeah. how good that looks. I know. I just and, and I mean, we still got sanding to do, staining sanding. to do. It's gonna look so good with my table. <laughs> Once we're done, we'll have, we'll mock it all up. We'll have your table, and then we'll have the two things just for looks and stuff. And we will see how it really goes. Well, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. Okay. The viewers want to see it to take a first spin. Now that bench number one's done, I'm gonna go home, take care of you, make today's video. She's going to sand this and stain it. I'm really looking forward to what it looks like after it's stained. I mean, it already looks amazing. But staining it will make it look better and match her existing table. It was a nice little constructive date, if I do say so myself. How you gentlemen make it out? Not great. Yeah. I'm gonna Not... load that thing back up. What? We're done. Jack the jackhammer's all done? Can't did reach it... any further. Did it come in any kind of use? Not much. Not much? Wow, you went down deep. No, this Did you guys make it to China? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take her out for a little spin. That's nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Sturdy for days. Sure. I just got done editing my video. I'm back up to my girlfriend's house. You have to see this bench. It looks phenomenal. So this is the table that we're, we're trying to match. This is what she's got going since I've been gone. That looks really good. Unfortunately for her though, it, it kind of sucked, didn't it? She said she went through like four different things because the stain that she bought was too black. She, she thinned it, used another stain, and then painted it. So she's got a lot of time in this thing. I, I was gone for like three hours or so. And she had to resand it. But look at, look at that. We made that, babe. Teamwork makes the dream work. But we're still working on our second bench. Took a little bit of break. While I did this, I sanded it and stained it and re-sanded it and then re-stained it and then added some white to match the color of that. As you can see, they match pretty well. I'm guessing this is more of a hardwood and this was a pine, so it was quite hard to match, but it did pretty well. Now we just gotta get that bench to match this bench. I'm gonna screw this board in. Uh, this board gets four screws, that board gets four screws. We're opening up a shop. 3D Machines Woodry. What about me? Um, out of everything here, the most time consuming is the pilot holes to like get the screws ready. The second most time consuming thing, I guess, is stain. All right, one more last piece of wood. It is 10.49, we are punching out for the night. Bench number one, bench number two. You guys know me, I don't really work with wood very often, so it did take us longer than anticipated. That's okay, we had a lot of fun. We learned a lot. That was like a very, very constructive date. And, and we established that we're gonna open up a furniture business, right? It's the following day, the following morning. Here's our final product. Here are our benches. I think they match really, really good considering that we used pine. Since my girlfriend's shorter than I am, she's going to put her feet up on the table most of the time, I think, where I put my feet flat on the ground. So that's why we kind of agreed upon this height. 
The stain's still kind of tacky, so we gotta let it sit a little longer. But other than that, I mean, I think it turned out excellent. We're open for business.